Hey everybody, this is Rykard here again, and welcome to another Pokemon Sun and Moon movesets video. Today's video is going to be all about the title legendary of Pokemon Moon, Lunala. So let's get started by taking a look at this Pokemon's typing, ability, and stats. So to start things off, Lunala is a new Psychic Ghost Pokemon introduced into the 7th generation games that has access to an ability known as Shadow Shield, which is effectively the same exact thing as the multi-scale ability in that when this Pokemon is at full health, any attack directed at it will do half the damage that it normally would. But as for its stats, this Pokemon, like many legendaries, has some pretty great stats all around. Defensively, it strives in its HP stat being base 137 and also has a pretty great special defense being 107 but its defense stat does fall a little bit short being only base 89. However, being like many ghost type Pokemon, Lunala does have access to Will-O-Wisp to help mitigate the damage it takes from opposing physical attackers. As for its offenses, it has a base 113 physical attack, which is pretty great on its own. However, its physical move pull is pretty shallow, so it really can't run too great of a physical move set. But for its special attack, it is a base 137, much like its HP stat, allowing this Pokemon to deal a lot of special offensive damage. Finally, for its speed stat, as far as legendary Pokemon are concerned, it's a little bit on the low end, being only base 97. However, this Pokemon still can effectively make use of its speed stat, whether it is just maxing it out or making use of a Choice Scarf set to allow it to outspeed a ton of attackers that its opponents could have on their team. But with that, let's take a look at the first moveset that I have for you in this video for Lunala. So in this first moveset, we're going to begin by giving Lunala either a Timid Nature to boost its speed but lower its physical attack, or a Modest Nature to boost its special attack but lower its physical attack. And then we're going to be going with a specially offensive EV spread of 4 defense EVs, 252 special attack EVs, and 252 speed EVs to max out its special attack and its speed stat. As for the item, we can either go with choice specs to boost your special attack by essentially one stage while locking you into a move, a choice scarf to boost your speed by one stage while locking you into a move, a life orb to allow you to use your moves freely and also boost your damage but less so than the choice specs at the cost of losing 10% of your health every time you damage your opponent, an expert belt to allow this Pokemon to deal more damage with super effective attacks, an assault vest to allow this Pokemon to boost its special defense further, Leftovers to allow it to recover HP at the end of every turn, or a Z-Crystal to correspond to one of the types of attacks on its set to allow it to have a one-time only super powerful move of that type. But as for its moves, the first one that we're going to go with on this set is going to be this Pokemon's signature ghost type 100 base power special attack in the form of Moongeist Beam. And then additionally we're going to be running a Psychic type stab move in the form of Psychic if you want to hit your opponent's special defense or Psy Shock if you want to hit your opponent's physical defense. Thirdly, we're then going to run Moonblast because this Pokemon needs a really good way to deal with opposing Dark-type Pokemon that would threaten this Pokemon out by dealing a 4 times super effective attack to it, and this is definitely the move of choice as it also additionally has that chance to lower your opponent's special attack. And then for the last move slot, either running Thunderbolt or Ice Beam for additional coverage versus your opponents, or running Roost in this last move slot to allow this Pokemon to recover HP every time it goes for this move and allow it to last a lot longer on the battlefield and continue to threaten its opponents with its powerful special attacks. Now as mentioned before, this Pokemon does have a fairly low speed stat as far as many uber and legendary Pokemon are concerned, so we can effectively run a Trick Room set for this Pokemon even though in most cases you would not think a base 97 speed Pokemon could easily make use of a set like this. But for Lunala on this set, we're going to begin by giving it a Quiet Nature to increase its special attack but lower its speed, and then run a bulky offensive EV spread of 252 HP EVs, 4 defense EVs, and 252 special attack EVs. As for the item, we're either going to go with a Life Orb on this set, a Z Crystal to correspond to one of your attacks, or Leftovers to allow this Pokemon to recover HP at the end of every turn. But for the moves, as hinted at before, the first thing that we're going to go with is going to be Trick Room, as a way to allow us to twist the dimensions and make the slower Pokemon actually the faster ones on the battlefield. And then again, we're going to be going with Moongeist Beam and Psychic or Psy Shock to be your main Ghost and Psychic type stab attacks, and for the last move slot, 
running Moonblast for that really important coverage that we're going to need against Dark-type Pokemon, or going with Roost to allow his Pokemon to have some additional survivability, potentially allowing you multiple opportunities to set up Trick Room with this Pokemon throughout the battle, or just give it some way of lasting a little bit longer while it attempts to damage its opponents with its powerful special moves. As for this next move set, we're going to be utilizing Lunala as a boosting special attacker. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a timid nature to boost its speed but lower its physical attack, and then go with that same specially offensive EV spread as in the first move set of 4 defense EVs, 252 special attack EVs, and 252 speed EVs. As for the item on this set, we're either going to go with a life orb, leftovers, or psyche MZ to be used specifically in combination with one of the boosting moves on the set. But for those boosting moves, the first thing that we're going to consider going with is going to be Calm Mind, which will allow us to boost our special attack and our special defense by one stage every time we go for it, thus allowing us to do more damage with our special attacks and also take opposing special attacks a lot better. Furthermore, if you want to go with an even more defensive option, we could go with Cosmic Power to allow Lunala to boost its physical defense and its special defense by one stage every time it goes for this, effectively making it incredibly bulky over time. And then lastly, as a boosting option, we can go with Hypnosis when used in combination with Psyche MZ, which in addition to having a chance to put your opponent to sleep, will also raise your speed by one stage, thus making this Pokemon a lot more threatening on the battlefield as it will now have a boosted speed stat to make use of. And this, coupled with the fact that you could also put something to sleep at the same time, makes this particular variant of the set very deadly and allows this Pokemon to get a free turn of advantage against its opponents to make use of its powerful special attacks, which again are going to be Moon Geist Beam for your main stab ghost type move, and then for your second move slot, either being Psychic, Psyshock, or Moonblast for that additional coverage, and then for your third option, if you didn't go with Moonblast in the second move slot, going with Moonblast here for that additional type coverage, or allowing you to make use of Roost to give this Pokemon a reliable way to recover its HP. Now as for a more bulky boosting set, we can also utilize Lunala in such a way as you see on the screen right here, beginning with giving this Pokemon a bold nature in this instance to increase its physical defense but lower its physical attack, and then running an EV spread of 252 HP EVs, 252 defense EVs, and 4 speed EVs, along with using the leftovers item to give it as much survivability and physical bulk as possible. But for the moves, again, the boosting move of choice on this set is going to be Calm Mind to allow this Pokemon to boost its special attack and special defense by one stage, and then going with Moon Geist Beam, again, to be your main stab ghost type attack. As for your secondary attack on this set, we're either going to run Moonblast for that really great coverage that it provides over running a psychic type stab, just because we're only going to be making use of potentially two attacking moves on this set, and Ghost and Fairy gives you a lot better coverage than Ghost and Psychic does. But if you want to run this set even more as a difficult to deal with bulky attacker, in this third move slot we can also run Will-O-Wisp to allow this Pokemon to burn opposing physical attackers. And that, coupled with our physically defensive EV spread and also the boost from Calm Mind supporting our special defense, will make this Pokemon very difficult to take out because it will be able to take both physical and special hits extremely well. And to round this whole set off, again, we're going to be making use of Roost to allow this Pokemon to have some reliable recovery and make it have a lot easier of a time setting up and even make it able to be more effectively using its ability in Shadow Shield as if you are at full health, as mentioned before, you will take half damage from any attack directed at this Pokemon and Roost is the best way to get you there. As for this last move set, we're going to be making use of Lunala as a fully support special defense Pokemon. So we're going to start this one off by giving it a calm nature to boost its special defense but lower its physical attack, and then run a specially defensive EV spread of 252 HP EVs, 252 special defense EVs, and 4 speed EVs, and then going with the leftovers item to allow it to have recovery at the end of every turn. As for the moves though on this set, the first one that we're going to make use of is going to be Will-O-Wisp, to allow Lunala to reliably burn opposing physical attackers thus crippling their ability to effectively damage you for the battle. In addition to this, it will also be providing some really great residual damage at the end of every turn, which will make Lunala's job a little bit easier when trying to take them down or its teammates at a later point in the battle. 
Then for our second attack, we're going to be making use of the signature move Moongeist Beam yet again, because it's a nice powerful stab ghost move to make use of. And then for the third move slot, making use of Roost to allow us Pokemon to have some reliable recovery, and as also previously mentioned, get you up to full health to effectively allow you to make use of the Shadow Shield ability. As for the last move slot, there are quite a few options to consider, the first of which being Substitute, which will allow you to get behind a protective barrier to shield you from attacks and statuses, which can work amazingly well in combination with our special defensive EBs and access to Will-O-Wisp to burn opposing attackers. And it's also great when you use Substitute and Roost in combination with each other because it can give you a little bit of an easier time potentially getting back up into that Shadow Shield range. Another additional option for this last move slot though is to go with Thunder Wave to kind of make this a dual status set and being able to burn things with Will-O-Wisp and then also being able to paralyze them making it so that their speed is significantly crippled and that they occasionally will not attack on a turn with Thunder Wave. Additionally though, you could also run a Psychic type stab move in this last move slot in the form of Psychic or Psy Shock, and as mentioned before, one will be hitting your opponent's special defense, whereas the other will be hitting your opponent's physical defense. But no matter which move you go with in this last move slot, it opens up a lot of options for this Pokemon to be used very effectively in the Uber's tier. But anyways, everybody, that is it for this video on Lunala. So I wanted to thank you all for watching, and as always, take care, goodbye, and I will see you all next time.